I'm so sorry. I do not mean to laugh, but I got to say, I told y'all so. <laughs> Ladies, I told y'all a long time ago that going the strong, independent, boss chick route, epic fail. It is going to backfire on you. You're not built for it. And here we are now, present day, with so many women crying, practically begging the men to forgive them for trying to be strong, independent boss chicks and going against the grain, practically begging men to take them in and polish them up and clean them up and save them, take care of them. The women now want to revert back to being the traditional women. <laughs> but the issue is, you're not traditional women. And honestly, I think it is a little bit too late for you. You know? But again, I told you, this day would come. Shout out to Dating Right, I believe is the name of the channel. I got this uh, small little clip from, you know, a little section of the video that they had on their uh, channel. And I said, wow, are we finally here to where women are now waking up to the fact that the whole fighting for your right to work and be a man, essentially, What's the wrong move? The wrong way to go? Hmm. What's going on here? What happened, ladies? Did you realize that it was going to take a lot of energy and a lot of hard work and sacrifice? Are you broke? Could that be a reason? You know, I mean, it's just so many different factors that could factor into a lot of us waking up now to this newfound reality of us being wrong. Yeah, the men were right. Let it marinate. The men were right, ladies. They told you so, and so did I. We told you so. That, yeah, you know, you may not want to fight so hard for those things over there because that's going to require you to essentially go against who you are as a woman. And slowly but surely, it's going to chip away at you mentally, physically, emotionally, energetically, financially. And yeah, you're going to crumble. Let the men have that lane. But so many of us want to be kings instead of queens. Now here we are begging to be princesses. And guess what? There's no Prince Charmings. There's no kings around. A lot of the princes and the kings are just checked out and done. So I don't know what to tell you. Good luck. Anyway. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Let's get into this, you all. A lot of the women now are realizing they messed up, all right? And they want to go back to being traditional women. But do they? Let's go there for a second before I play this clip. See, to me, I'm going to be honest enough to say that I don't believe these women. Right. When they're coming through saying, oh, you know, I want to be a stay at home wife and I just want to take care of the children and I want to be provided for and have a husband to take care of me. I think they want the treatment that goes along with being a traditional woman, not necessarily wanting to be a traditional woman. And to me, that's where we go wrong. That's where a lot of us are going to come up short because a lot of men are going to see right through that. Oh, no, you want the perks and benefits and the privileges that go along 
as far as being a, a traditional woman in a traditional household and setup and relationship and marriage, but you're not going to be that type of woman that is deserving of that, right? You're still going to want to be single and strong and independent within those type of dynamics while still having a man to fund you, take care of you. That's the catch. And again, that's why I'm saying it may be a little bit too late. I think a lot of men will see everything for what it really is, and they're going to want no parts of it. See, back in the day when the men were the primary and sole providers, right, they had women at home that were great um, help meets, right? So the woman would take care of the children and she would cook and clean and, you know, she would be submissive and she would listen to her man and follow his directions and obey him. But today, I don't think a man is going to get that type of uh, treatment or that type of response in return for his uh, providing or his uh, protecting and leading and teaching and nurturing and taking care of. I, I just don't think that is going to be the case. And so since a lot of men may be under that same impression, a lot of y'all, unfortunately, are just going to have to stay stuck being independent, strong, boss chicks, suffering and struggling by yourself because, yeah, it's not worth that type of investment is not worth that type of commitment and sacrifice to take care of you, especially if I'm not going to get what I need in return from you. But nonetheless, let's get into this video, you all. Again, like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Let's get into these clips of these women practically crying and begging for the men to forgive them, take care of them, take them back, and go back to how it used to be. Again, good luck. Now, working is a normal part of life. Work, 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 work. I think most of us are used to it. Sometimes we have a little less fun than usual. I couldn't think of a more horrible job if I wanted to. I'm seeing this new trend on social media where girls are fed up with the fact that they have to work. They don't want to be girl bosses anymore. They are asking to rewind the clock and go back to the times that they had to stay in the home and not actually go to work, which is incredibly ironic considering that feminism runs rampant in our world and we're told that all women just want to be girl bosses and that that is what is going to make us very, very happy and fulfilled. Wait a minute. Do we not want to be boss chicks anymore? <laughs> Again, I am so sorry for laughing, but I told y'all so. So now women are done and fed up as far as being their own bosses and, you know, making their own money. Now the, the, the women are like, look, men, just take me in. I don't want to be a strong woman anymore. I just want to rest in my femininity and have you take the lead and take care of me. What? This is crazy. But baby, I told you. I told you this day would come. I told you. News flash. Maybe it does not. The video that sparked this entire episode and a lot of these conversations online is this TikTok. Whoever fought for women to get jobs. Why? Why did we do that? I am so tired. I want to just put my feet up. <laughs> like, I am, oh my God. Six million views and the comments did not disappoint. Somebody said, for real, why did they do that? I would have been completely chill running a household, cooking, going shopping, cleaning, stress-free, like, ugh, I hate working. I, uh, I don't like my job and uh, I don't think I'm going to go anymore. Another person said, should have fought a little less hard. And then there were a lot of people who were saying, like, we wanted the opportunity to do it, but I didn't want to be forced to do it. Now, this even made its way to the men's rights subreddit, which is just always a trip and so interesting. But this person says, imagine having someone voluntarily work 60 hour work weeks for you, providing for your every need and want, while the only expectation is that you cook a clean and care for the children. And considering that slavery and oppression, even just reading that paragraph is just shocking to me because how, how have we been conditioned to believe that being taken care of 
and tending for your home and playing with adorable, cute little children that you birthed, that you created, is slavery. I Hold on, y'all. We've been scammed. A lot of y'all have now realized and figured out that you've been scammed. You've been tricked. Yes? Because who wouldn't want that type of setup? Seriously, you would rather have to go and work very hard for somebody else to where you're no longer in charge of your time, your household, your life. <laughs> and then on top of that, the money is barely making ends meet. Like you want to go out and do that versus having a man to provide for you and your children. You have complete and total control over your day. Like <laughs> craziness. I know why y'all are begging now. I see why. Like, yes, sign me up for that. A lot of women would love to be signed up for that. But the thing is, ladies, it may be a little bit too late for your begging. It really, it may be. I don't know if you'll be able to go back to it. I don't. Now, earlier, they said that they wanted the opportunity to be able to work. You know, I wanted the option to be able to work if I wanted to, but I didn't want to have to. Well, ladies, um, <laughs> you did that to yourself as well. You all fought so hard to be independent to do for yourself, to have it all on your shoulders, that you pushed away good quality, providing, protecting men that would have made great husbands, great fathers, great lovers. You pushed them away and said, no, I don't need you. I don't want you. I can do it all by myself and for myself. Until the man said, Okay, you got it, boss. <laughs> I'm sorry. You got it, boss. Go ahead and fend for yourself. Go ahead and do for yourself. Work so hard. Work just as hard, if not more than me. Strain yourself. Because mm -hmm. you are right. You are a strong, independent, powerful boss chick. And you don't need me. And so slowly but surely, a lot of men backed out and bowed out gracefully, and they start to flourish more actually on their own. That was also a huge mistake that we made. But let's get back into what I'm saying. They said that I wanted the option to work, not to be forced to where I have to work. Well, again, that's to your own doing. You push the men away. A lot of you women push the men away so much so that you kind of cornered yourself to have to go and work out in this uh, workforce and uh, have to go out here and work hard to make ends meet because you didn't have men around to do it for you. You didn't have men lining up to take care of you because after all, you said that you had it all by yourself. And on top of that, you all, we were very rude, very obnoxious, very selfish, outright disrespectful when we were telling these men, oh, I don't need you. I don't want you. And so, yeah, y'all ran the man off. So, yeah, now you are cornered to have to go out here and work in the workforce and fend for yourself because you did that. Now, another level in late to the conversation, and y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe, is the fact that when, when y'all ran the men off, they realized that, hey, life is easier, freer, and cheaper without these women. Uh, this is easy to just take care of myself. This is easy to just have to look after myself. And as a man, they are naturally designed to work, to produce, 
without getting too tired. <laughs> Not like us. We get burnt out very quickly. So all the way around, it was like a win-win for the men. Don't have to take care of a whole family. All I got to do is take care of myself. I got all this extra money freed up to save or do whatever the hell I please with it. I don't have to have somebody breathing down my neck, begging me for this, asking me for that, demanding this, demanding that. Oh, this is the life. And on top of that, ladies, come here. The men were still able to have access to you. It was the best of all worlds. Men realize that, look, if I'm a man of a certain status, I have a lot of women throwing themselves at me, right? Because it's in our nature as women to look for providers and protectors and leaders. And so these men that were out here being productive, the men that were out here getting to the bag, they noticed that they had a lot of options. They didn't have to just settle down with one woman. Because like I said, a lot of women, they like and love and want, need and desire those type of men. And so those type of men started to have a rotation. So yeah, ladies, we messed up all the way around, baby. Pushing those type of men away and saying we got it on our own and we don't need them. Y'all pretty much turned the men into happy bachelors. And yeah, coming back begging now, I don't know how effective that will be when y'all have opened up these men to a whole new life of freedom and money and abundance and rotations of beautiful women like yeah i don't know i don't know if you all will incentivize them to settle down and take care of one woman that is not even more than likely going to be the type of woman that you need her to be she's just desperate now and lonely and struggling and broke and so now she's coming back to the table with her tail tucked but is it genuine is it sincere mm. Probably not, but let's continue. I wanted to see if I could actually quantify these sentiments that I'm seeing in the comment sections. Oh, and like the video. <laughs> and on TikTok, you know, of not wanting to work. However, I wanted to see what I could find, especially in terms of married women staying home. And I actually found a lot. 48% of women don't want to go back to work in the office full time. And to all the people who are like, she doesn't want to work. She wants to marry rich and like have a fantastic life. Oh my God. She must be so lazy. She must like not be very bright. Like she's just not very capable, you know? Let me tell you, I went to Berkeley and I got my master's at USC. I'm extremely, extremely over it. They kill me talking about these degrees that they have, but they can't even use them. Uh oh, the shade. <laughs> but. I think what she's saying as far as bringing up her degrees is relevant to what she's saying. Now, the guy in this video, he kind of took a shot at the women and he makes a valid point because a lot of us do have these degrees that are pretty much useless. But um, nonetheless, I feel like her bringing up the fact that she is somebody that is college ed educated and has all these degrees and certificates, it proves the point of, look, as women, it doesn't matter how educated and smart that we are. It doesn't matter, you know, how brilliant that we are or intelligent. At the end of our, at the end of the day, our nature is what it is, you know? So I don't think that she was bringing up her degrees and all of that um, to pretty much make it seem like she's just a strong, independent boss chick. I think she was bringing it up initially to drive the point home of, look, I, I am educated. I am that strong woman. I am that intelligent woman. And even I'm saying this is for the birds. So let's get into it. And again, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And you know what I did with that overly educated brain of mine? I figured out the smartest thing I could do. The most efficient usage of my time, my energy, my resources for the most optimal path. 
use that big juicy brain of mine this brain that has been used in an advertising career a career in tech um international business consulting i've done it all i've worked with heineken i've worked for samsung i've worked for unilever i've done things for h m and you know i finally used this big extremely competent brain and i really figured it out and the smartest thing that a woman can do is Mary rich, so she doesn't have to work. Sis, we simply just don't make as much, and we simply don't have the testosterone, so we burn out way, way faster, and everything takes a much more intense toll on us. So ladies, honestly, while you still have your youth, your looks, your energy, the best ROI for you is to marry a provider, is to date high-value men. She makes valid points, right? And again, I loved how she brought up the fact that she is, you know, that woman that is highly educated and, you know, has a lot of great things under her belt. But even she came to realize that she was working harder and not smarter. Now, um, I do have some issues with what she said. She said, ladies, what you need to do is date rich, marry rich men, get with providers. And like I said earlier, unfortunately for a lot of women out there, you're not going to be able to do that. All right. Um, she even went as far as to bring up while you're still young and beautiful and vibrant, go out there and try to find you a providing man to settle down with and build with him and all that. But again, we are in a day and age and a time where it doesn't matter. Like a lot of the men are checked out and done for crying out loud. We have men now trolling women with the whole drizzle, drizzle, soft guy era movement. Like, I just, I think it's too late, you know? All of the begging now and pleading with the men now, I just don't think that it's going to work. Um, maybe back in the day, way back in the day when it actually counted, when you were, you know, fighting for your right to work so hard. Yeah, I think, you should have been doing that back then, not now in 2024, when you have women that, again, have not even been able to practice thoroughly and effectively what it is to be a traditional woman. Like, do y'all even know what it is to be a traditional woman? Or do you just want the perks and benefits of being a traditional woman? You know, so all the way around, I think the, the advice is outdated. Um, a lot of the quote unquote rich men, they, they are perfectly fine with being single. They are the ones that again, have rotations. They are the ones out here dating and dealing with a bunch of different women and having a good time because they do have options. Like that's what we're dealing with. Um, and on top of that, you're not able to really find all that you're looking for in one woman. So it's just kind of counterproductive if you will to settle down with one woman and give her all these grand great things when you're more than likely not going to get all that you're seeking and looking for in her you know so you got that going on and <sighs> can i be honest and again y'all like the video show the video and subscribe honestly <sighs> men today are looking for a lot more than just a woman that cooks and cleans and looks after children. Like that's also outdated, ma'am. This is why I'm saying you all should have just shut up and enjoyed your life and, and, and prospered because all we did ladies was shoot ourselves on the foot. We were able to have men out here to not only take care of us 
and give us a life of freedom and luxury and fulfillment and, you know, happiness. But also our children and, hear me out, and we didn't have to do much for it. Now, a lot of you women that are single today, oh, you're going to have to do a lot more than just cook and clean. Yeah, you're going to have to be somebody that is uh, submissive, loving, caring, loyal, devoted, knows how to take orders and follow directions. Like all of that is going to tie into it. And and I know you're going to hate this, but I got to be real. And a lot of y'all are also going to have to contribute financially. I know it could be alarming, but that's the bet that you've made for yourselves. A lot of men today, they're not going to, you know, pay 100%. A lot of the men today, as a matter of fact, I'm going to ask y'all right now in the comments. A lot of the men today, they're looking for the woman to contribute at least 10 to 20% monetarily. Like they're looking for women who have their own. You know, again, y'all bet to be bosses so bad that now you live in a world to where, yeah, you're going to have to continue to be a boss. Probably not to the same extent of what you are used to a boss doing and being, but nonetheless, yeah, men today are looking for women that can offer things uh, monetarily, you know, in exchange as well, you know, because I got to be honest, a lot of us have came off to be leeches. A lot of us have taken advantage of men and men are just not going to go for broke for women who are not worth it. Let's just be clear. You are a lot of us. We're not worth that level of sacrifice, of investment. You know, we're not worth that level of um, a man going above and beyond for. It's just, it's not. So, yeah, you're going to at least have to bring 20%, 30%, 10%, 5%. It's going to be a percentage, whatever it is. It's not going to be 100% on the man, not in today's time. A lot of y'all have messed that up. So that's dead. Okay. That's dead. Now, if you look up and find that great, but more than likely, yeah, no, even if the men are financially stable and capable, um, yeah, no, they're, they're still going to look for you to chip in baby girl, you know, cause yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it's just a, a new day and age. And like I said, ladies, we really scammed ourselves, <laughs> We really tricked ourselves. We really did ourselves a disservice. And so now we're just going to have to find a way to adjust with this new time and find a way to, I don't know, have a treaty with the men. I don't know. Like anything is better than having to do it by yourself. I'll tell y'all that much. Shoot. It's a lot of women today that's like, look, sign me up. I will go 50-50. I will go 80-20, whatever. But... This right here, doing it all by myself, that's not it. That's not working. I don't want any parts of this. Men, please take me in. So I don't know. Um, but nonetheless, I thought this was very interesting to highlight, you know, considering the fact that a lot of women fought so hard and for so long to be strong and independent boss chicks. And now y'all don't want to do it. And y'all want to come begging and crawling back to the men. It's just like, whoa, <laughs> did life really beat us up that badly? guess so but we told you so anyway y'all like the video share the video and subscribe let me know how y'all feel about this fellas um like i uh, said earlier are you the type of guy that is okay with just having a rotation uh if you do invite a woman to be a part of your life um and of course we know that you're going to provide for her and protect her and all of that but does she have to contribute financially and if so what percentage you know, let, let me know. Um, but yeah, I look forward to seeing all of y'all feedback uh, and commentary down below. But I'll see y'all later. Much love and peace in my crown heads. And ladies, we got to do better. Peace. Drizzle, drizzle.